Hey, God bless everyone. How you doing? My name is Lawrence Tor, and it's so great to see you. And God's just been working so many things in my heart about the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made us free from the law and sin and death. These verses have been coming to my mind, and then I've been thinking about walking in newness of life. You know, when Jesus Christ was buried, we were buried with him. When he was raised up, he was raised up into new life, and so were we. And we got Christ in us, the hope of glory. And our old man, when it was buried, it was buried with Christ. And it's dead, it's gone. So sin has lost its grip and power over us. And when we identify ourselves in Christ and we realize the new man in us, that we have Christ in us, the hope of glory, to manifest Christ to the world, then, you know, we don't be looking at our old man failings, our old man uh, habit patterns. And the old man, we can recognize when the old man is at work is the old man, its fruit is not life, it's death. And there's worry in, in this, there's confusion, there's evil thinking, there's negative speaking, there's worry, there's fears, there's doubts. And when our minds are focused on those things, then we come under that law of sin and death, which we've been set free from, by the way. So, you know, we're in Christ Jesus. There's therefore now no condemnation, no consequences because of what Jesus Christ done. And we are in Christ. And then it goes on to say in Romans 8, 1 and 2, that the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus made us free from this law and sin and death. So we've really been set free. And we know that we've been rescued or delivered out of the exercise authority of the enemy the god of this world we've been delivered out from he has no hold on you satan has no hold on you yes he works as the god in this world and he'll try and tempt you he'll try and get you to look at your circumstances situations but when you focus your eyes on god when you begin to understand who you are in christ what you've received what your inheritance is how God sees you. See, God sees you as perfect. He sees you as complete because that's what you are. You are complete in Christ. And we are holy, so we can live holy. We can speak holy. We can think pure thoughts. Holy is to be pure. And we're pure because we've been cleansed from the inside. And now we need to manifest what's on the inside on the outside. And we need to manifest Christ. You know, because that's how... God sees you. That's how we should see ourselves. We should see ourselves in the light of how God sees us. The scriptures reveal to us what Christ accomplished. The scriptures reveal to us how God sees us and views us. And we can walk in newness of life. We can walk in this new man if we decide to. If we want to focus on the negatives of our lives, of our failings, of our past, then really we're just digging that old man up when it's been pronounced dead by God. And we need to pronounce it dead. We need to come into agreement that that old man is buried and we don't even allow it to resurrect its head because it's dead. The old you is gone. There's a new you. It's called Christ in you. And God wants us to live from that place. You know, we're at the right-hand side of God in Christ Jesus. No, we just got to believe it. We are sons of God, okay? We just got to believe it. We have Christ in us, the hope of glory. We just got to believe it. We have authority. We just got to believe it. We just got to believe what the scriptures say that Christ accomplished. And we got to believe in his finished work. It's finished. There's nothing that you can do to add to it apart from put your mind on God and believe who you are and start putting your shoulders back as a son of God or a daughter of God and walk in in the light of who you are. And it's Christ in you, the hope of glory. You know, you are a new creation in Christ. Behold, all things have become new. So don't focus on your situations. Don't look at yourself in the light of the old man. We're not to know anyone after the flesh. You know, when we start putting this mind of Christ on, when we start realizing what's been done and that we have been delivered, then we start to see other people as God sees them. We won't see them after the flesh. We may see their negative traits or their wrong thinking, but we see them in a different light. We see them as the finished product in Christ. 
this will get rid of any conflict if we truly understand this but we got to recognize it for ourselves first when I start to recognize who I am in Christ and what God has done for me then I can start walking in my righteousness because I'm righteous before God righteousness means there's no we can stand before God with no sense of shame guilt condemnation <clears throat> I mean to think the craze of the heaven and the earth we can stand before him with a clean heart based upon what Jesus Christ done for us we can do that and then to live righteously is God's acts manifesting through our life Jesus Christ manifested the Father and that's what we can do so let me tell you if there's anything you've got against anyone forgive them don't look at that negative stuff you know in our old man nature we look at and we think well they done this and he done that or she done this and she said that man let's cease from that that's our own works yeah people may do these things but we're to walk in love we're to walk in forgiveness and then we're to be the example to those people we're to build faith into people by speaking words of life into people you know the words that we speak should be life they shouldn't be death and we've chose to live this life we decide to live in Christ we decide to manifest the Christ in us the hope of glory and so this year's theme for 2019 okay 2017 our theme was live unto God this is for our fellowship theme in 2018 this year it's been the just shall live by faith and we've learned a lot of great things this year God has been showing and revealing and reminding bringing back to remembrance the things that we may have forgotten, sharpen us up, perfect in our walk. And as we put the word of God in our heart, we say what God says, then we start to manifest those things. We start to really believe it because the word is first in our mouth, then in our heart. And the more we say God's word and what God puts in our mouth, the more it's going to get in our heart. And when we do speak it, it'd be spoken with authority. It'd be spoken with pure faith and it's going to produce great things. You know, death and life is in the power of the tongue and those that love it shall eat the fruit thereof, right? And that's what the scriptures say. Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall believe in his heart and doubt not, he shall have whatsoever he saith. So what are you saying? Are you speaking words of life into your situation? into other people's life into your own life are you speaking uh, words of death into your situation or into other people's situation are you bringing up your own past are you bringing up other people's past of things that they've done in their flesh not through the spirit we're to reckon those things that we don't even to look at those things you know let's walk in this new man where there's freedom there's liberty the life that i now live i live by the faith of the son of god you know, we are to live by the faith of God. God doesn't want us to frustrate that grace. You know, it's his work. God does the work. Grace is his favor, his unmerited divine favor to us. We didn't do nothing for it. We couldn't earn our salvation. We couldn't earn our forgiveness. But Jesus Christ accomplished for that. And all we had to do was to receive it by faith. We believed in our heart. We confessed with our mouth. And we received this great, precious gift of eternal life we receive Christ in us the hope of glory we need to be thankful you know when we're being thankful we're not going to be raising hell with ourselves. we're not going to be raising hell with other people it's just so wonderful to walk in the liberty where Christ has made us free and that we don't have to be entangled again with the yoke of bondage you know we're to look to edify we got a ministry of edification we're to build people up. We're to build ourselves up. It all starts with us first. And when we start to understand who we are, when we start to understand the liberty and the freedom and the power in the word of God and the power that resides in us, then we start to see this stuff, this five cent stuff is folly, as stupid. Because we are in a different league to the world. In mind, in heart, in action, in speech, if we put it to action, we need to put our faith to action through our words, through our actions, through how we treat each other. God wants us to encourage one another. God wants us to build one another up. And, you know, you've got the ministry and word of reconciliation. You can reconcile within the body. And we're supposed to reconcile outside of the body. We're supposed to put our focus on 
reaching out to others to having that compassion and a love because there's people sat in darkness under the authority of Satan and we got the power to release them. God has given us that because he's given us his word and ministry of reconciliation. When we think about that rather than thinking of what he's done, she's done or look at how they're living, then we know what's really important in our lives. We're to set our affections on things above, not on the things of this earth. When we're setting our affections on things of the earth, we'd be judging everything with our five senses. But we're higher than that. We're a new creation in Christ. We're powerful. We're spirit-filled people. And God wants us to live in this world like we live in the kingdom. It's available to do it. And it's just recognizing who we are, what God's done, and appropriating the promises of God to our life putting our eyes on God, practicing the principles. We need to practice this walk. And as we do unto God, then he's going to set us free. Now you are God's best. You need to see yourself for God sees you. There's no more condemnation to you. There's no more shame. You shouldn't have guilt of sin. Sin has been dealt with. It's just the case of renewing our minds to the truth of the word of God. The true gospel of Christ brings transformation. And I'm being transformed, man, by the renewal of my mind because I'm not looking at the senses. There's times in my walk I have done, and it's brought me down. It's brought me to a place of darkness. When we look down, we come into a place of darkness, and we're the sons of lights. We should be shining as lights in this world, in this crooked and perverse adversary kingdom, that we have authority over his authority. Now, he has ability. We know Satan has ability. But our ability is far above his ability. We just need to believe that. We've been set free. We've been delivered. We've been healed. We're a new creation in Christ. We're to walk in newness of life. We're to serve in newness of life. And the theme for 2019, like I said, is to walk in newness of life. Let's walk in that new man. Let's manifest God in Christ in us. Let's manifest Christ in us, the hope of glory. So I just felt inspired to sit down and talk with you and just to share my heart with you, to share what God's working in my heart. You know, we're all the same. If we got the Christ in us, we're all the same. And we've got Christ in us. There's no one better than anyone else. It's just a case of knowing who you are. It's a case of knowing that you've been set free. Walk in love, walk in light, walk circumspectly. Walk with the mind of Christ. Be set free today. Don't stay in your old man's state, it's buried. Okay, we've been moved to a higher location. We've been moved to the right hand side of God and we just gotta believe it guys. We just gotta believe it. And I'm so blessed because God does communicate to us through his scriptures, via his spirit through other and you need to manifest christ in you the hope of us you need to be that voice of god in this world today the one crying in the wilderness preparing the way so that people can receive jesus christ as their lord and savior we need to walk as lights we need to walk in our authority and the greatest thing that we need to do is to walk in love and to walk in love is to put god first is to encourage people to connect to god don't get them to connect to you or your doctrine. Okay, traditions. Traditions is men's doctrine. We want to give the words that God has shown us to give from his written word with the understanding that he's enlightened us with and what he's working on us by his spirit. When you've got the word of God and you've got, the, when you've got the scriptures rightly in your heart that God's revealed them to you and opened up and you've got the spirit, the spirit and the scriptures together, man, there's great power, there's great deliverance. You can speak the word to people and then you can show them from the scriptures because everything that god gives you by the spirit will line up with those scriptures the word of god is quick it's powerful and it's sharp it's in your mouth it's in your heart release it stop trying to do things from your own effort or your own strength cease from your own works but be liberated because you have been liberated you've been set free to live above this world and man, I'm just so excited because I'm identifying with who I am in Christ. I'm not identifying with my circumstances, my situations, my wife, my friends, fellow believers. I'm identifying myself in Christ. 
I know that I got a relationship with the one true God and his son Jesus Christ. I have fellowship with them every day. When I wake up in the morning, I've learned to wake up and not say how I feel, but to say what God says about me, that I am a son filled with power, no matter how I'm feeling, no matter what my circumstance is saying. The truth is I'm a son of God with all power. I'm beloved of the Father. I am called. I am holy. I am blameless before him. I'm seated at his right hand side in Christ. Start believing who you are. When you start believing in who you, who you are, you'll start to see great things happen. And we want to live unto God. We want to walk in our righteousness, manifesting those acts of God that he puts in our hearts to do. And he will give you the work that he's before ordained that you should walk in. When you start walking in your righteousness, when you know it's not coming from your effort, but it's coming direct from God, we're being led by God. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they're the sons of God. And man, your sons and daughters of the Most High God. You've got Christ in you, the hope of glory. You've been set free. You've been delivered. You're under no curses. You're under no condemnation. Again, Romans 8, 1 and 2 is just so powerful. The whole book of Romans 6, 7 and 8, I encourage you to read and ask God to enlighten your heart and be set free because your old man, the old habit patterns of you is dead. They're only alive because you're keeping them alive. You're not reckoning them dead. Reckon them dead, man, and start walking with the God in Christ in you and live unto God. Live by faith and walk in newness of life. So this was in my heart just to share with you. I love you. And I also wanted to test out this new camera I got for the computer. And I think it's pretty smart. It kind of follows you everywhere. Or it's supposed to. Follow me. There you go. Look at that. And that's smart. <laughs> well, anyway, put that aside. It's a great way that we can communicate God's word using these little things in this world. But see, we use the things in this world to help us move the word of God to help us to be a blessing and do what God puts in your heart to do. You'll know when God is showing you something. Let me know because God really does communicate. He can tell you. You'll just have a knowing when God's saying, go, then you go. When he says, don't go, then you don't go. When you do what he says, then you get blessed. And God wants you to be blessed. He wants you to practice the things that you can practice Speaking in tongues is one thing that you can practice. Honouring God with your substance is a thing that you can practice. Ministering healing to others is a thing that you can practice and do and see the power of God manifested and you can set people free. Okay? Let's manifest Christ. Let's manifest the God in Christ in you. Let's put away our own ways and consider our own ways so that we can follow the way, Jesus Christ, that we can do the things that he did. Okay, we're supposed to do that. We're supposed to do the same works that he'd done and greater. And we can't do that from our old man nature. We can't do that from, from traditions of men, which makes effect, none affect the power of God. We want to manifest Christ in us, which is the power of God unto salvation. We're to preach the gospel concerning Jesus Christ, what he'd done, what he accomplished, his burial, his resurrection, his ascension, and his coming back. So I just pray you have a fantastic week. You have a fantastic holiday season. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I just want to do this just to say we love you. We're for you. We thank you for all those people that, you know, connect with us and encourage us. We're thankful for the wonderful time we had in the USA and uh, the times we had in Germany this year as well and Norway. It's been a great year. God's got greater things for us, guys. Let's keep your heart light, keep your heart free, travel light, lay aside the weight and the sin which does so evilly beset us, and let us run this race with endurance. And you run that race with endurance by setting your eyes on the author and finisher of your faith, Jesus Christ, keeping your eyes on God the Father, because he's your dad, he's our dad, he's our heavenly father, he's my father, and he loves me, and I know he loves me, I know he's good always, and he loves you. And he's good always. What do you think about God? What do you think about your Lord? Where do your thoughts go? When you mess up, where do your thoughts go? Do you bring it back to God? You know, the great thing is that if you mess up in your walk, 
don't worry. You know what you do? You just run back into daddy's arms. You just jump into the father's arms and say, Father, I was just walking in my old man nature. It wasn't me. And I thank you, Father, that I have that restoration of fellowship with you because you're the God of restoration. You paid for all things. I thank you that I've been cleansed inside and I thank you I can manifest that on the outside. So I just want to encourage this to you today. Have a fantastic day. Have a fantastic week. The day today is the 17th of December and it's 3.35 in the afternoon. Immerse yourself in what the scriptures say. Go to the scriptures. Just read. Just read. Ask God to enlighten the eyes of your understanding. To give you wisdom where you lack wisdom. Let God speak to you. Let God speak to you and just meditate upon the truths of who you are and what he's done and how he sees you and what you you are called to do. Because we're called to move. We're called to preach, to proclaim what Jesus Christ accomplished and deliverance and a relationship with the Most High God. It's just a simple message. We've got to keep it simple, not difficult. And when we keep it simple, when we decide we're going to keep it simple, when we decide that we're going to really do what God shows us as an individual, not listening to the other voices, but listening to the one voice of the Spirit of God, of God in Christ union, God speaking when Jesus Christ is revealing. When you decide you're going to do that, regardless of what anyone says, God is going to give to you. He's going to open up amazing doors. And he's a God of restoration. He's a God of reconciliation. He's a God of love. He's a God of provision. He's a God that sees in order to provide. He's a God that wants you to live an abundant life spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, in your finances, in your relationship, in your ministry. God is good man. He's a God of light and in him is no darkness at all. And you've got God in Christ in you, so in you is no darkness at all. Don't pay attention to your feelings, your emotions, your circumstances, but start paying attention to who you are in Christ. Walk in newness of life. Be set free. Be delivered right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Set your affections on things above. Focus your mind. Fill your mind with the truth of who you are. Put on the mind of Christ. Be transformed. The true gospel of Christ brings transformation. Man, and it's changing me day by day. Every day I wake up and I decide to live and walk and talk as a son of the living God, as a joint heir with Jesus Christ, heirs of God, joint heirs with him. And I'm blessed. And I love you. And I pray you have a just a wonderful holiday with your family. Love people. Give. Serve. It's not about you anymore. It's all about him. It's not about us. You know, when we put our attention on God, then everything that we desire, he gives. He gives to us. We delight ourselves in him, and he gives us the desires of our hearts. So guys, don't let your circumstances speak to you louder than what God's speaking to you. Don't let the lies of this world speak louder than what truth is speaking to you. But be blessed and let God work in your heart. And he really does give you the words to speak. So this is why I want to encourage you today. So God bless you.